Hello nerds, it's me again, your weirdly deep-voiced anime waifu. Today I'm talking about the Swedish entry, Host Country Alert, and it's by Marcus and Martinez, who are not Swedish, but whatever. And it's called Unforgettable. <laughs> Marcus and Martinez are a duo from Norway, they're not just a musical duo, they're also identical twins. They've been decently successful in Norway, but lately even more successful in Sweden. Last year they entered Melody Festival and came in second behind Loreen, so this year with no Loreen to prevent them from getting the win, they won. So yeah, this Eurovision journey has been in the making for them and it's nice to see them finally get there. And they've gotten there with a song that is pretty good. I have some issues with it, but I'll start with the things I do like, which is I'm a big fan of this sort of house pop style. It's a very catchy song, extremely easy to get in your head and start singing along to. There's some lovely Daft Punky synths in there, especially in the back half, which I really like. It feels like it could be the soundtrack for one of those retro futurist movies, which I quite enjoy. Now my main issue with the song is unfortunately one that Marcus and Martinez can't really do much about, and it's the Eurovision 3 minute rule. Now granted, I'm coming at this as a progressive rock fan. I understand that not every Eurovision song can be 12 minutes long. Like clearly Eurovision needs that time for the awkwardly rehearsed banter between the hosts. But three minutes is short and three minutes is especially short for a sort of house type song like this because I think it ends before it can really get going and for that reason I think it's a bit frustrating to listen to. Especially the ending where that sort of talk boxy synth comes in. I really like that bit and it only really goes on for like 20 seconds and then the song just fizzles out. I do think maybe some changes could have been made to the structure of the song where it could have got going a bit faster so that bit could have been longer, I don't know. But I think either way I still would have wished for a longer version that had more, some more breathing room. Either way, this song as is is pretty good. It, it's certainly not a winner, like I don't think it's original or standout enough for that, but it's pretty good. I enjoy it and I foresee it ending up somewhere in the middle of my ranking. This certainly isn't going to give Sweden a record result, but like, they don't have anything to prove right now. That was it. Uh, do you think Unforgettable is unforgettable? Let me know in the comments. Like the video if you liked it, and here you can find some more Eurovision reviews. Or you can subscribe to my channel here. And still, we are not in Malmo yet. Bye.